You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Know what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what do you do every day? Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But, Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita, I'm sure you're going to... <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up, I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh. So what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred, come over here quick. I've got something incredible to tell you. Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes, but I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me, but I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. <laughs> The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside. a leg! And another leg. They're so pretty. How adorable. Oh, I love this. Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it Don't step on it! Oh, oh. 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 it's, it's so, so pretty. pretty! Mommy! How cute! Mommy. It thinks that you're its mother! What do you mean, Mommy? Oh, that's not true! Oh, I'm not your Mommy! Go now, go home! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Don't follow me because I am not your mommy. <laughs> Get away, you bug. I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Well, back to the ground. This isn't my job. Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh. 
adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy, come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a tree house and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the tree house. Don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a tree house so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah! on, quit crying and help us finish it.
you, friends, for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again, really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm gonna go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. I don't understand what's taking them so long to get here. It had to be on the day I prepared a surprise, and now nobody shows up. Hmm. They'll be here soon. Talolo! I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? I see. So, is everything fine? It's been a long time since we talked about what good friends we are and all. I think that you are one of my best friends. I'm so glad to see you. By the way, where is everybody else? I've got something to celebrate and want everybody else to be here with me. Hello, Olga. Where are you going in such a rush? Tell everyone to come quick. I've got something important to tell you all. Olga, please don't go. What's up with Olga? She always stops to talk to me, and today it's as if she didn't even see me. Hi, Mumu. I'm so glad to see you. Can you stop for a minute? I've got something really important to tell you. I'm in a big hurry. I can't stop and talk right now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Mumu, listen to me. I've got something to... I don't know what's going on, but I don't like this one bit. Hey, here comes Alfred. I'll ask him. Hi, Alfred. Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! Don't you run off too. Talalo, today's a very special day for me, and nobody wants to be here with me. I am so tired. Hi, Rita. I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Didn't you just hear me? I'm very tired. All day running from here to there, without breathing, without stopping. That's great, Rita. I'm so happy that you're here next to me. I've tried talking with everybody, and they're acting crazy going all over the place and ignoring what? me. What? Uh, how? Uh, where? Uh, I forgot something. Uh, where'd everyone go? Well, Mumu over there, Olga over there. I don't know. Everybody went somewhere different. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way. See you. Now I really don't get it. Today is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate it with all my friends, but they're all too busy doing their own things. Look what I've prepared. A big old snack with all kinds of candies. Now I'll have to eat it all alone. Hi, Talalo. How's Milo? Does he have any idea that we're throwing him a party? Poor Milo. He thinks that we've forgotten about his birthday. But when he sees the cake we made for him and all the nice presents we've made for him, he's going to be speechless. The cake is ready, and it turned out perfect. And I made him a bag where he can keep all his things. I made him a really nice wooden flute, which I've been working on for two months. I know he's really going to like well, it. Well, I... 
Well, I... Well, I actually forgot about my present. I had so many things in my head that I didn't remember. We can't let that happen. We need to make him something in less than two minutes. Something clever and that he'd like a lot. I feel terrible for not having remembered. What a bad friend I am. Don't you worry, Alfred. You'll see that we'll come up with something quick. I've got it! Why don't we give him a drum? And how do we make a drum in two minutes? Leave it to me. I'll be right back. I just need... Uh -huh. Two wooden sticks, an empty tin, rubber balls, and two balloons. I put the balls on the ends of the uh -huh. sticks like this, and I've got the oh. drum sticks. Uh -huh. ah. Now I stretch a balloon on one end of the tin and the other on the oh. other end. And now it's ready. Oh. I'm so clever. Now I just need to hear how it sounds. The drum is ready. Now we just have to put it in a box and we've got a present. Rita, you're the best. You've saved me from looking like a bad friend. Yay! Well, since nobody's coming, I'll have to eat the snack by myself. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo. Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Milo. Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 <laughs> Yay!